A bicyclist is dead after being hit by a Shelburne police cruiser over the weekend. State police say this happened on Route 7 in South Burlington early this morning. The cruiser was being driven by an on-duty officer. ABC 22's Matt Holderman joins us now live in South Burlington at the intersection where this crash occurred. And Matt, there are some more details we are learning tonight. Yes, Lauren, there are more details. I'll start by saying Vermont State Police is now the lead investigating agency here after it was initially South Burlington Police who responded early this morning. VSP tells me that the man who was killed here is 38-year-old Sean Hayes from Burlington, and they also say the officer who was driving the cruiser that hit and killed him is Sergeant Kyle Kapitansky from Shelburne PD. Now, like you said, this all happened right here at the intersection behind me. This is Route 7 or Shelburne Road where it intersects with Fayette Drive in South Burlington and there is a little bit more information to piece together here from VSP. They say Sergeant Kapitansky was driving south on a wet Route 7 at about 2.45 this morning while it was still raining out and Hayes was also traveling south on his bike and was towing a trailer behind him. Now Kapitansky struck Hayes with his cruiser leaving some damage on the right front of his car. It is not clear how fast Kapitansky was going just yet, but Hayes was pronounced dead at the scene. Police did not say if Hayes was wearing a helmet or any lights or reflective gear, nor if his bike or trailer had any lights or reflectors on them. South Burlington Police called Vermont State Police at about 3 a.m. to get help from their crash reconstruction team, and the state took over the lead role in the investigation this afternoon. Uh, they have also assigned at least one or two detectives from their criminal division to this case. They named two detective sergeants in an email, Stephen Gelder and Jesse Robson, both from the Williston Barracks. I also reached out to Shelburne Police this morning and left my contact information for Chief Michael Thomas, but as of right now, I have not heard back yet. It is also unclear if Sergeant Kapitansky has been placed on administrative leave or if he is still on the job. One other piece of info we do know about him, he served as the Richmond Police Chief for a short period of time before working at Shelburne PD. State police are asking anyone who has information on the crash or anyone who saw it early this morning to reach out to them at their Williston Barracks. And I will keep working to get more details on this and we'll share them with you once we have them. But for now, reporting live in South Burlington, Matt Holderman, ABC 22 News.